Hello my creative and crafty friends. This is Gloria Plunkett with Designs by Gloria here to share with you um, a, a cool little card. My friends over at Split Coast Stampers asked me to help them out today and create a project tutorial so I'm going to do one and it's called the Pop-Up Vase Unfold. I think that's what it's called. It's got a bunch of different names. Anyway, this is my prototype. So I never try and work on something that might be a little bit different or complicated unless I've tried it on a prototype. And this is just some scrap paper that I have that I don't mind messing up um, over and over again if I, if I get it wrong until I get it um, perfected so I can use it on my good cardstock. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be pretend this is a real card. <laughs> And it's going to open up and see this little vase. This right here is going to become a vase where my flowers are going to stick up. And also, I wanted to keep this sample so I could show you. When we get ready to put the mechanism together, which is this little piece here, this is it's going to be, my card is going to have to be down like this. And then I'm going to have to hold my pieces. So you're only going to see this here. And you really can't see what I'm doing down here. So I wanted to show you live before we pull it together. When this is flat, as you can see, when this is folded, it's flat, right? You see that there? The little mechanism is flat. When you pull it, it pulls up and makes that little vase. When you can fill it with whatever flowers or whatever it is that you, you might fill a vase with, sticks or something more um, woodsy, etc. But when it closes, it closes flat. When I get ready to show you about putting this mechanism together, this here, when I end up doing this down here, know that it's just going to be me holding it in place so that it lays flat. When I get ready to put these pieces underneath, and this is going to sit here with this little piece underneath and the tear and tape off. I'm trying to make sure when I'm doing it that it's nice and even and that my vase is as close to this edge as I can get it without it looking bad. So just wanted to give you a heads up up front of what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use the Daffodil Dame Dream Bundle, which includes the Daffodil Dies. I also incorporated the Meadow Dies, a couple of these um, here um, into what's going to be my vase. So that's the Daffodil Dyes, the Meadow Dyes, and the Daffodil Dreams stamp set. Let me bring in all my pieces that I have pre-cut because I know I wanted to do something different. I wanted to use some watercolor paper. I used my Daffodil Delight, my Mango Melody reinkers and I cut some strips and I had some leftover strips from previous projects of um, our 100 fluid watercolor paper and um, I went ahead I got a mess here don't I I went ahead and um, put it on a little um, I have a little clipboard that have a piece of plastic covering it so I can do watercolor paperwork and so what I did was I took those strips and I used the pear pizzazz Reinker, the Daffodil Delight Reinker, and then the darker ones I used the Mango Melody Reinker, and then my watercolor painter, and just um, got some extra pieces here. Just created these little um, strips, and then I used my dies to cut out my pieces, and I went ahead and assembled these so that it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Um, I really wanted to show you the mechanism and how to make this. Uh, vase card. I think it's going to be so cute here for Mother's Day. Um, I think my mama, which is my not my biological mama because my biological mama died many years ago, uh, but she's adopted me and so I call her my mama and I'm going to give her this card. So we're going to start with our standard basic, thick basic white card base and darn if I didn't forget my bone folder. Oh well. I really like using my bone folder because I like a nice crisp edge on my cards. So I'm using for the my card a regular eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter base thick basic white cardstock. 
Then I'm bringing the Heart and Home Designer Series paper, the one that has the flowers on this side. And this I'm going to adhere right to the front of this card with my favorite liquid adhesive. And hopefully it'll cooperate and flow today. There we go. It's actually working good. And I'm just going to add some glue. And this is going to be added to my cart front. And it's four and a quarter by five and a half. The exact size of this, of this card. Oh, darn. I didn't move it down quick enough. Okay, I'll trim that later. Okay. Then I'm going to add my flower. Let's see, I think I want a daffodil and a little bud to the front of my card. Something real simple because the inside is going to be the pretty part as far as I'm concerned. So we'll bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals just to give it a little bit more pop. I'm not probably going to use a whole lot of Dimensionals because this is watercolor paper, so it's already a little thick. And let me see, I think I'm going to cut a strip. I cannot find my Stampin' Up! paper snips. I don't know what I've done with them, where I've put them. Usually I have some events in my house, and sometimes they get picked up by somebody else on accident, and I think that's what might have happened. Yeah, I don't like the way that's going to work. Let's just cut a straight edge right here. And we're going to add this to the front little piece here. Give it a little lift. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the minis on this one. And we'll get this prepped and ready to go so we can lay it down. I like the edges on this, on the mini dimensions because I get more of a chance to to make these tiny little customized pieces. All right, I'm just gonna add you here. Fold that in. Okay, now let's add it to our cart front. And we'll be done with the front. It's gonna be a pretty simple front piece because I want the, the actual um, wow to be on the inside. Okay, we'll add this little bud, which I think is adorable and so smart of Stampin' Up! to include this. We're going to just have her stick in there. Then I've stamped the Happy Mother's Day from the Daffodil Bundle. And I'm going to add that right about here. I didn't know if I wanted to add it across, if I just wanted to do... Here, I messed up on the back side. Um, if I wanted to do just a little, yeah, I think I'm going to cut this down. I think I'm just going to cut it down at a slight angle. Okay. I always leave, like to leave a little extra in case um, I change my mind, which I did. I'm only going to adhere dimensionals, the mini dimensionals, to the sides here because I wanted to wrap around those little stems. Here we go. And we're just going to add that right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, good. Now for the inside, I'm going to add a piece of Mango Melody cardstock that I cut to four by five and a quarter and then the other basic white um, layer on the inside is three and three quarter by five. So we'll adhere that down. Oh yay, it's flowing good. Usually when I get on camera, my ribbon wants to act up, my glue wants to act up, my dimensionals won't. Oh, it's just a hot mess. But today they seem to be working pretty well. We're going to center this as best we can. Okay. Now we're going to work on our little um, flower pot. So we have a couple pieces of to create the mechanism. 
we have a two and a quarter by five inch piece and I'm going to show you how to how to cut that and score it here on this piece of um, scrap cardstock and then we have a piece that is three quarter by three and seven eighths that I've scored it three eighths and then a small little stopper piece that is half inch by two inches and I've added uh, tear and tape here on both ends I've added tear and tape also to the little three eighth inch piece that I've scored ahead of time so in order to make this you're going to notice that there's no adhesive here but there is adhesive on these two tabs if I flip it over there's adhesive here but no adhesive on these two tabs you want to make sure you adhere your strong adhesive I would recommend um, tear and tape or something that you have similar to that to get your mechanism going correctly so let's look at this sample here I'll bring in my cutter and we are going to score this piece at one inch and at four inch on the five inch side so we scored at one inch and at four inch now we're going to turn it to the side and we're going to score I'm going to place this on the three quarter inch score mark line and I'm going to go well let me do it this way so we can keep track I'm putting that on the three quarter inch line then I'm going to score only from here bring this up here to this very first score mark that I've already created so I'm on the three quarter inch score line I'm gonna place this you can see it let me show you real quick our, our um, trimmer has a one inch here and it's got that little divot there so you can see where the one inch is. So I'm going to hold that nicely in place and it's already shifted so i got to do it again. I'm going to hold that in place nice and tight. Put my scoring tool to the one inch and then score up. Then I'm going to do the same thing at the one and a half inch mark. I'm going to bring this down to the one inch and I'm going to score up. Okay, now I've got my two, my three um, little quadrants here. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Put it at the three inch mark. Put my little scoring tool at one inch and score up. Bring it over to the one and a half inch mark. Put it on the one inch score line and pull it up. There we go. Now we have this little piece here with the with the, um, what do you call it, uh, score lines on there for you. So now for, on one side, doesn't matter what side, pick a side, I'm gonna cut this quadrant off and then this quadrant off. So I'll end up with just this one little quadrant sticking out in the middle. And then on the opposite side, I'm gonna make sure these two are in place so I'll come in here cut come in here cut and then I'm gonna fold these back so I'll make, make a mistake and cut them and that is my mechanism right there okay so this is this right here so what I've done I've added adhesive here to these two sides I flipped it over and had it added adhesive only on this side Got it? All right. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's start to work on our little mechanism. And where's my little stopper piece? Here it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is remove the, I'm sorry, I was out of camera. I'm going to remove the backing from my little piece of designer series paper. And just as a reference, let me just get this off real quick come on there we go be nice as a reference this is I want well, this is what I want to be the front of my base I thought that was really pretty I'm gonna go, go with the with the yellow so I want that to be the front of my base so what I'm going to do is I'm going to you can see I have some adhesive there I'm going to adhere that down, make sure it's nice and, and stuck on there, make sure there's no adhesive sticking out anywhere. 
remove the little backing. Let me get down here and do that. This little 3 8 inch piece that we scored. I'm going to give it a little sugar, so rub it really good so it sticks on there and I can get that backing off easier. There we go. Behave, behave, behave. Now I want to make sure that my vase is not below this or way up here too high. I want to make sure that it's just before it gets to the bottom here. You can do it a little bit uh, right to the edge or a little bit higher, whatever works for you. I just thought it would be cute just below there just in case when I get ready to fold. Um, like I showed you at the beginning that I have a little bit of, of move around time. So now I'm going to add this right at the making sure that my the, the piece that I do not want showing in the front is looking at me. This piece is right up against the edge there just before the fold to make sure this doesn't um, it doesn't stop it from bending over. Give it a good rub. Then we're going to fold this over like this and I'm going to bring my little stopper piece and I'm going to add that right here. Let me pull this up so you can see. I want to make sure that it's just right to the edge but not over that edge. So now I'm going to remove these little backing pieces. Let's see if I can do it with just my nails. This is a half inch by two inch stopper. I'm going to make sure that my little vase is right where I think it should be here. I'm going to add my little stopper piece just before the designer series paper, but not too much before it. Not, no adhesive here, just here on these two edges. I'm going to bring this over. And I'm going to rub this a little bit. Let me see if I can get off those backings without pulling up the tape. Let me do that here in this one. No, you're not going to cooperate, are you? Oh, I don't want to touch that sticky because I want it to be nice and sticky when I stick it down. And I'll just do a little recap. You want to make sure there's no adhesive sticking out anywhere around your little around what you want your vase to be. You don't want anything sticking where it doesn't need to stick. All right, one more. And again, let me show you on my sample piece what I'm trying to accomplish. What did I do with it? So this is what I'm going to do right now. I've got these, this has the two tabs here, right? So this is already connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over these two tabs that are here. See that? Which equate to these two tabs right here. I'm going to fold them over and I'm just going to align it while I'm looking here on the edge of the card, making sure that I'm not going over the edge. I'm going to try and keep it as flat as I can because when I want it, when it's down, I want it to be flat up against the 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 card stuck and then I'm going to fold it over and then press to make sure it sticks there. All right, so let's do it on this. So we're going to do this. I'm going to fold this over, ensuring that my piece, wait, before I let that down, I need to Pull it up. Okay, I'm going to hold this as best I can without moving it around too much on this side. I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to try to keep the adhesive from sticking on the bottom. And that's why I was showing you there because I know it's hard to ca capture on camera. Bring my piece over.
And there we have it. Let's see, oh, that one's gonna stick out too much. You see that? So I'm gonna have to move him. And I have that liquid glue, so it allows me a little time to wiggle it around. So let's see this. Everything there is okay. Let me close it. Nothing showing through this one. Needs a little bit of an adjustment. And we're going to add him right here. Can't wait to see what you come up with, what flowers you use, and so on. So here you have it. I don't know if I'm going to use this little greenery or not. But anyway, that it is, the pop-up vase flower card. Pretty simple. Nothing showing on the sides. Fits right into a regular envelope medium size envelope and you'll be ready for Mother's Day. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to add a couple of these um, brushed butterflies. I added some thin Sharpie um, so it looked like it had a little body there on my card. Got one big, two big ones and one little one I'm going to add and that should, that should do it. I think I want this one kind of floating away. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you'll create one and you'll be back um, to follow on Spickle Stampers and Designs by Gloria um, to create more fun interactive projects. Thank you all. Have a blessed day.